Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one other good thing of Windows 10 is the ability for your computer to cast wirelessly to a smart TV. Now, your smart TV needs to have Miracast technology in it. So you have to know if your TV is compatible with that. But a lot of Android TVs, LG, Sony, and Samsung TVs that are running their own operating system are compatible with this. Um, so what you do is you simply go right click the start menu button. You go into your settings. On the uh, system tab, of course, you will have display. And in the display, you go down and you will have connect to a wireless display. Now, what are the requirements? I told you Miracast, but I also, uh, you also need to have the TV and your computer on the same network. So it could be connected with cables, it could be Wi-Fi, but you need to have your computer and your smart TV on the same network. Now, if you use a Wi-Fi network, be warned that if you're on 2.4 gigahertz connections, it might not work very well. It might be sluggish, it might freeze, it might look kind of grainy and like an old school movie uh, because 2.4 gigahertz, very often the speed of the connection is not enough to give all the information and the data needed to the smart TV. So you are best to be connected on the 5 gigahertz network of your Wi-Fi router. If you do not have 5 gigahertz, maybe it's time to update that router to something more recent. And of course, your computers need to be compatible. So you have to have a computer that can use 5 gigahertz, and you have to have a smart TV that, of course, has Miracast technology and capable of 5 gigahertz connections. So what you do then, you simply click Connect to a wireless display. On the right side, you'll see a panel, and that panel will actually show you all the compatible TVs that are available. I have my Samsung Series Smart TV here that is compatible, so you can I can click here, and what happens is it's going to actually take about you know 10, 15 seconds, and it's going to be on my uh, Smart TV. The um, thing that might happen on many smart TVs is that we might have to accept on the TV itself. It might say something is trying to connect to display. Um, do you accept to connect this device? So you might need to do that. But apart from that, you'll be able to connect with your smart TV. Now, you might say, well, I tried, but my smart TV doesn't show here. It's possible that it's be simply because your smart TV does not have Miracast technology in it, then that will not work. So it's very important. You need to check the details of your smart TV, uh, technical details, and see if it's Miracast compatible. A lot of displays today are compatible and it works. If it doesn't work, then you'll need to use other ways. You might need to extend an HDMI cable from your PC to the TV, or it might be uh, more difficult. Uh, depending on the computer you have and especially the TV you have. And also, it might be grayed out for you. If that's the case, it's because it is possible that your computer is too old to actually work with Miracast and um, sending or connecting to a, a smart TV. Um, if your computer is slow, it's not going to work very well because it takes a big toll on the computer itself just to um, send that uh, video to your smart TV. So an older TV, an older a PC, sorry, might just have that uh, grayed out. But if you are compatible, this is a great feature where you can quickly, you know, just send the screen to a smart TV and uh, enjoy your PC, especially with a laptop. It's always fun to have a big screen sometimes for, you know, videos and stuff like that. So you can actually do this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.